Let's talk politics now. After Donald Trump's decisive win in South Carolina, all eyes are now on the Republican race tomorrow in Nevada. Trump holds a massive lead in the Silver State. In fact, he's leading more than two to one over his next closest competitor. Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio are essentially tied for second place. And John Kasich, who's trailing, is now making headlines for what he told a crowd in Fairfax, Virginia. Kasich was talking about the support he got for his 1978 state Senate run when he said this about women. How did I get elected? Nobody was, I didn't have anybody for me. We just got an army of people who, um, and, and many women who left their kitchens to go out and go door to door and to put, put yard signs up for me all the way back when, you know, things were different. Now you call homes and everybody's out working. But at that time, early days, it was an army of the, of the women that really helped me to get elected to the state senate. And I went into that job. And I didn't take any orders from anybody there. Your comment earlier about the women came out of the kitchen to support you, I'll come to support you, but I won't be coming out of the kitchen. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Oh, if that made you cringe, you're not alone. John Kasich's campaign has just released a statement saying John Kasich's campaigns have always been homegrown affairs. They've literally been at, run out of his friends' kitchens. And many of his early campaign teams were made up of stay-at-home moms who believed deeply in the changes he wanted to bring to them and their families. That's the real grassroots campaigning, and he's proud of that authentic support. To try and twist his comments into anything else is just desperate politics. For more on this, I'm joined by Bob Cusack, editor-in-chief of The Hill in Washington, and Leslie Sanchez, CBSN political contributor and Republican strategist in Los Angeles, who also happens to be a woman. So let's start with you. <laughs> what did that statement do to your automatic instinct reaction? Sure. I think the knee jerk is like, wow, where is he coming from? It reminded me of the moment uh, in the 2012 debate with uh, Governor Mitt Romney and, and uh, binders full of women. I mean, these like kind of one liners tend to take a life of their own. But I also wrote a book called You've Come a Long Way, Maybe that talked about the generational shifts that women have faced and what, what empowers and evangelizes women to go vote. And in that period of time, generationally, when you're talking about the late 70s and early 80s, there were a lot of conservative women who were concerned about the coarsening of the culture and they really mobilized for the first time they were against the equal rights amendment and they got out and voted for candidates they supported so i think if you look at it in the context what mobilizes individuals to get engaged there's a lot of powerful issues i think it was an ineloquent way to say it and he may have some uh, backlash on that in terms of governor Kasich. But overall, I think it's, we have to look at that through the lens of the time he was talking about. All right. And, and in the meantime, he got called out sort of on that right away when the follow-up question at his campaign event was, I'm not going to be coming out of the kitchen. I don't think, by the way, I like the kitchen personally. I'm very happy <laughs> when I get a chance to be in the kitchen to make a meal. So let's not make this about women who are in the yeah. kitchen or when they're not in the kitchen because there's nothing wrong with it, whatever your choice is and whatever you're able to make work for your life and your family. But it's something that out on the campaign trail and especially as the Republicans move forward, Bob, don't they have to be cognizant again of that big tent and they're trying to include more people than just that hard right wing uber conser conservative voter. Right. No, I, I agree with you, Contessa. I, I think that John Kasich in particular is trying to build this broader coalition that is not for Trump and, and certainly not for Ted Cruz, uh, more a moderate Republican, establishment Republican that has recently shifted back to, to Marco Rubio. Remember, Kasich was second in New Hampshire, uh, had, a, had a rough night in South Carolina, as expected. But uh, unfortunate use of words uh, for Kasich. This is not going to help his cause. Um, but, but honestly, he's going to have to capture some momentum to be relevant in this race.